We got a lot to do to get ready for our pig operation, so let's get to work. supply store to buy some hog panels to make a pen out of. We're going to try to get a pig to raise for meat, uh, but we're getting the pig because mostly because my wife wants a pig. I don't have any existing facilities that are anything close to hog proof, so we're going to construct a pen in the cow shed. gathering up some boards to make a hog feeder out of. Got a tube of six and I need a tube of eight and I will make a quick, easy, durable hog feeder that they can't turn over. If you want to watch me build this hog trough, tune in to my last YouTube short that was released this past Saturday and I'll show you how to build one. All right, gonna make a simple, easy, crude little pig pen here to raise her two pigs in just out of some hog panels and some tea posts. That's as far as I can get this one in the Ozark rocks. We're going to call it good. this morning my neighbor asked me if I remembered how hard it was to keep hogs in and even though it's been 65 years since I owned a hog uh, I do remember how hard it is to keep it in but I said anything that makes my wife happy just tickles me to death so that's why we're going after pigs. Luckily we've got neighbors just down the road from us Brenda and Rick who raise some of the best spotted Poland China hogs in the country. I'm not buying show pigs, but it is good to know that they come from quality stock. These pigs weigh about 35 pounds each, and they were named by our youngest son, who's a video game engineer for Dreamlit Video Games. So the names Paige and Tomba came from video game characters that happened to be pigs. So cute. Louis doesn't know quite what to think of the first pigs that he's ever seen in his life. This style of hog trough is the same kind my dad used to make 70 years ago. It worked for us then and it seems to work now as well. I had hoped that placing this mineral feeder over the top of a stump would help keep it in place. It didn't.
For the first time this summer, we are really getting dry right now. In the Ozarks, pastures can go from looking like you're in the Garden of Eden one week to resembling the Sahara Desert in just a couple weeks after that. And right now we're on the verge of looking like the Sahara. Even though there's still quite a lot of grass out here in the pasture, it's pretty brown and crispy. So the cows are hoping that I'm bringing them some range cubes. Because that one mineral feeder won't stay in place down there at the creek place sitting over the stump, I'm going to make some J-stakes out of rebar to drive into the ground around the base of the mineral feeder and hopefully that'll make them stay in place when the cattle start pushing on them. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Stakes I made from rebar really do work keeping them in place. As dry as it is right now, this may be the last time I have to mow down here around the spring this summer. Louie and I are looking for cow number 41. She's the cripple cow that our veterinarian worked on a few videos ago. Uh, we did find her and she's a little better. We got a lot done, so let's call it a day.